Jones. You know I'm Mel Man, and I'm here with Marcus Maximus Mera, the artist and producer of a super awesome video game called Colossal Cave. And it's available wherever games are sold because it's a pretty big deal. So, hey, how you doing? Thank you for having me, Jen. I really am glad to be here. And it's uh, an opportunity of a lifetime to be live radio with you, talking about such an amazing adventure that I went on producing this game. So what exactly did you create? What is Colossal Cave 3D? What is this? Well, I figure I, I'll introduce myself a little bit. Like I got started in the jewelry business with diamonds and uh, making fine jewelry. I was one of the first artists to use 3D modeling in order to design the jewelry. And that gave me some skill sets that allowed me to make video games once I was once I got introduced to Ken and Roberta Williams, right. two of the most famous game designers in the world. No joke. They are legends. They created Sierra Online, which is responsible for games like King's Quest, Half-Life, um, the Steam, where everybody buys their games. It's uh, an unbelievable multi-billion dollar company. And they've been retired since 1996, traveling the world on a yacht, hadn't produced a game in 30 years. And then one day I found this game, the original King's Quest. And by it's serendipitous- I want. I really want to see this. Oh, yeah, I right, might not know right. about video pull games, out of the but bag. I'm interested out of the bag. in what you're doing, Chun. Oh, this is go. the original King's Quest. Okay. Uh, came out on the IBM PC Junior in 1984. It was the game that uh, propelled Sierra into the great heights that it was—a multi-billion-dollar company. And oh. uh, uh, based, yeah. And then basically, I found the game and I contacted a museum that's a local vintage computer museum. I say, hey, I found this game. Wouldn't it be great if I uh, make a story like at your festival, talk about it, the history of it. They're like, great idea, Marcus. Oh, by the way, the designers, they're also going to be presenting. Why don't huh. we have you lead in? So yeah. it was just like a serendipitous uh, meeting and I stayed in touch. And then one day I just, you know, after reading his book, I pinged them and I go, uh, hey, I just finished reading your 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 book on Sierra, and Ken yeah. was like, uh, 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 Ken Williams, the founder of Sierra, and you know the the, the husband of uh, Roberta Williams was like, uh, what'd you think of it? I said, wouldn't it be great if you guys made a comeback, like Steve Jobs did at Apple, and bring Sierra to new heights? And he oh. was like, uh, well, you know, I'm working on something, and I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. Uh, I'm like, I know you don't know this, but as a jeweler, I use 3D modeling and I can make any of the assets. That you, you sent me. He's Very like, interesting. Oh. Yeah. And he's like, uh, that's great. I'll be in touch with you in a few days. So a few days later, he, he, he contacted me. He's like, Marcus, what are you up to? And I'm like, anything you want, big boss. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> right. you want to do, I'm in. <laughs> so that was how I met them. And, you know, it was like pulling two superheroes you know, out of uh, uh, retirement for one more adventure, kind of like the Incredibles, you know, right. like you pull them out, they put on their capes and they're like, all right, let's do this. And, uh, you know, it was a, it was an unbelievable struggle for me as a jeweler. You, you got to imagine mm -hmm. like if you've ever been in an adventure and you're in the depths and the darkness and you're trying to learn how to use these programs that you never used right. before and these terminologies and all these different things that I had to learn. Yeah. In such a short period of time. So How do you think it was I feel just getting your text and trying to understand what the heck you're talking about? He texts me and I say, what is this colossal cave? I see a website with a video game. The last video game I played was Sega. Okay. So you're hard to follow. Well, this game actually goes back a little further back before Sega. Before it was Sega? actually a text adventure. What? It was actually a, a game that was only in words in 1975-76. It was a text adventure. The guy that helped invent the internet created the game. And it was the inspiration for Roberta Williams to make a game. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it basically launched their career. Um, and we brought it into the virtual reality world. And as well as, like I said, in all the different platforms from the Nintendo Switch to the Xbox. I know I'm talking lingo to you, but these kids know what that is. And they, they got know the, what an so Xbox is. You got to keep it clean before you have a date, right? A woman should clean her Xbox before she goes on a date, right? I mean, it depends. You might be into it. Like some people might be into it, you know? <laughs> 
They might saying, be I know that. a thing or two about a thing or two. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So it was just a unbelievable journey uh, uh, to, you know, I, I was the first person to work with them on this game. So I literally saw everything from the very beginning to launching the game. Once we, at one point we had, I believe 40 or 45 people working in the very beginning. I was just me and Ken, then mm -hmm. Roberta joined in and then we started getting more and more people involved. And at one point, like I said, it was 45 people. We had like the craziest zoom meetings you know, yeah, we worked right. virtually. There was no office. They worked on their yacht. Like they literally were huh. on their yacht why not? with their Starlink, you know, traveling around, working on a video game. Why yeah, not? why not? Right. Like so now, so now they're thinking, like, oh, go ahead. Well, no, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, oh I was gonna say they're they're like thinking about their their, their next game. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, like, should we just go on a adventure, like real life adventure and travel again on our boat, or should we make a game? And somebody mm -hmm. suggested, why don't you do both? <laughs> He's like, well, you know, that's a really good idea. Right. So, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, continue their ambition and their excitement in producing video games. And, uh, you know, it's like they're, it, the, the, the gaming world is better off with Ken and Roberta Williams making video games. Now, I know you kind of answered this question, but not really fully because, you know, I'll just put it like this. I can tell you how to make a book, a movie, a stand-up set. I can even tell you how to create a dental office because I'm involved in that. Or a song. I'm going to make my second song later. My first song's in Spanish. I barely even speak English. I don't even speak Spanish. But I have no idea how to create a video game. Now, you were making jewelry uh, for Harry Winston, Van Cleef. I see. I mean, you know, this is high-end jewelry. So you really mastered that. And now it seems like you've mastered a high-level video game. Now, could you tell us about how to make this journey, like how to make this video game, Colossal Cave. How do you do I'm this? I'm still a student of both jewelry and video game designing, to be honest with you. Which uh, don't go people, together, do they? I, not really, except the 3D modeling of the jewelry. That's what really kind of gave me the artistic ability to create the models and things like that. So I personally believe that video games is one of the most complicated things you could make. More complicated than a movie. Uh, you know, movie, you have all these different things that are are, yeah. are, are involved. You have scripts, you have directors, mm -hmm. you have, but mm -hmm. it's very linear. Like you're telling a story in, in one direction, whereas a video game can have multiple direction, multiple endings, multiple beginnings, multiple characters. It's a whole world. You're not just, you're not just recording a, a world, you're creating the world. So everything <laughs> around it, in it. The sound effects, the music, the acting, the 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 animations. So there's a lot of skill sets involved. The programming. Let's get into the computer programming. And I gotta say, the one thing, if you wanted to make a video game, and that's to all the people out there, I would go to right. ChatGPT. ChatGPT, oh. or or you know, better yet, because uh, Bing has ChatGPT for free. So instead of paying the twenty bucks, you go on Bing, and you start typing your idea for a video game design, and then you ask it, how do I make it? And believe it or not, it gives you so much unbelievable information, including code. You don't even have to, I mean, you sh you got to know how to code to really do some really advanced games. But if you do some simple stuff, you can copy and paste the code from ChatGPT, put it into one of these engines like Unity or Unreal, and have a game that's working. Uh, and it's pretty amazing, this technology. It's it's like really incredible. It helps with prototyping. And, you know, even the new game that I'm working on, uh, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to share my new video game. It's an, another classic, exciting game that I'm, I'm making. Um, you know, I've been using AI to help me as a person that's not strong in coding to troubleshoot mm -hmm. and, 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 and build this game out. And it's just been really fun. I mean, I'll just tell you this, you know, we only met, I think, once. And... You had sent me uh, jewelry things and video game things, and they both look cool and legit. But I'm like, how does this all fit together? And how is someone doing these things? But you know, if you're a highly capable human, you can dip your fingers or your whole hand into so many different things. And that just got real weird real fast. So uh, speaking of real weird well, here, and interesting. Here's, here's, here's a short way of putting it. I'm uh -huh. an artist. Yeah. And I work in different mediums. There you go. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So jewelry is one meeting it's a physical you know metal hammering diamonds yeah. uh, it's virtual too because I'm, I'm doing the modeling in 3d and the 3d printing mm -hmm. and computer game is just another medium it's just another art 
uh, outlet. You know, I do oil paintings. I do all kinds of different art. I draw, I sculpt. Um, and uh, it just happens to be a, another uh, art form. Uh, so as an artist, I don't like to lock myself into one right. type of art. I like to, um, I've done things like, I've, I've done a, a photo, photo shoot with Patricia Fields in Sex of the City for Mary right. Claire working as a set designer. I, you know, uh, Madonna's Diamond Eyelashes, uh, Jacob the Jeweler's Perfume uh, Bottle Cap. I did one for Helena Christensen, uh, Shu Urimura all these different really cool brands I got to work with and really cool designers that I got to collaborate with, uh, including Roberta Williams. I mean, one of the greatest video game designers in history. You know, she's one of the first ever. She's such a huge influence because I got to work with sometimes five to eight hours a day just talking to her about game design and, and her, um, you know, just her methodology of how she designs. I got to work with Paul Booth on creating a jewelry line, a very famous tattoo artist in New York City uh, and how his creative process. And then I take those different kinds of creative processes from these geniuses and I try to incorporate it into what I do, which is you know, a, a collaboration of all these different uh, techniques and to well, make my own Speaking of art. collaboration, uh, you worked with Ken and Roberta Williams for people who don't know the gaming industry. Who are Ken and Roberta Williams? Uh, what they is their impact the on the founders of industry? Sierra Online. Okay. Sierra Online was one of the biggest gaming companies of the 80s and the 90s. Uh, they created a game called King's Quest, uh, Phantasmagoria, which was an uh, a, like a, it's FMV, which is a, they filmed it with live actors and they put them in a 3D world. They were the first to do that. It was a horror game. It was really amazing. It sold like $30 million in two weeks and 1994 wow. and had oh nine God. CDs or nine DVDs. It was like a huge game, huge hit. Like I said, they sold their company for over a billion dollars in 1996. And, uh, you know, yeah. before they sold it, they, they, they brought on Half-Life, which is one of the most famous games in the world. And those people created Steam. Um, it's just, a, you know, whenever I talk to people in the industry, you know, like we were in the LA Times just recently. We had a three-page mm -hmm. spread in the LA Times, whenever I meet the people at Xbox or Nintendo, and I'm like, oh, I'm working with Ken and Roberta Williams. You know, their eyes light up. They say, ah, oh, the reason why we're in this industry or I'm in this industry is because of them. They mm -hmm. they paved the pathways for the industry. So they they, they just had the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award at the Game Awards. Uh, they were just on stage when they announced our game. Uh, they, CES, which is a consumer electronics show, gave them a, a, a Lifetime Achievement Award. It was so funny because they sent me to go grab to go get the trophy for them so i go into this i go into this like amazing banquet i'm standing on stage next to the guy that invented the internet the guy that's the Wait. president of sony another oh guy God. that's the president of panasonic and they're like who's this guy and I'm like, yeah i'm here to receive the award for ken and roberta williams you know there's like a whole audience and there's that's a banquet funny. And they're all dressed up it was hilarious it was like and you were probably moment. very on your best behavior with that i'm sure right oh i was like Buy our game, they're back. Ken and Roberta Williams. I was like just hyping it up in front of everybody. And they're just oh nice. You just tell they're like, who is this guy? <laughs> Listen, enjoy it. You clearly worked very, very hard. And uh speaking of working hard, this has nothing to do with it at all. We're at the end of the interview. Uh so feel feel free to share a final thought you'd like us to know, and also your social media's website where people can find you, play the game, let our listeners know. So so when crafting, I'm, I'm from, from crafting jewelry to craft, crafting virtual worlds. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's been one heck of an adventure. And you can see my work at um, uh, ColossalCave3D.com and my jewelry at MMM, that's three M's, dot TV. And uh, yeah, so just give a follow, check it out, and uh, hope to hear from you guys. Awesome. And that's it. Now back to more. It came from the radio.